Good morning. Um, today is no idea of the date. Um, today is Tuesday. Baby is five days old, and we've done some research because basically, when you have a singleton pup, um, there's a lot more things you've got to take into account than you do with regular puppies with a litter. So when you have a litter, they have siblings to play with, and this one doesn't. So she doesn't have anyone to teach her how to play. She doesn't have anyone to teach her how to take turns, how to so she's not having like pushing her off a teat or anything and um, things like she doesn't have anyone to climb over so at the moment uh, we've started off our singleton training so she started off with all these toys in here for her to climb over so this is to stop her getting something called swimmer's leg which if she didn't have anything to climb over her legs would kind of go floppy and wouldn't be how they're supposed to be she is brilliant at climbing over these because she's only five days old um, we're hoping that mommy will teach her how to play but we have our other three spaniels as well which we will be able to get her to play with when she's a bit older um we will just have to act as siblings and we've just got to put a lot more effort in than we normally would as you know we already put quite a bit of effort into our litter but they learn a lot from their siblings and this baby hasn't got any appearance wise she is starting to go dark roan underneath the white so i think she's going to be quite a dark girl um, she's definitely chocolate um, the tan hasn't come through yet, but she's still got pink eyebrows, so we're not sure if she's going to go tan or not. Um, but yeah, only time will tell, I suppose. Tilly's just got in. You okay, Tilly? She's been a very good mummy. Oh, look at that little yawn. Mummy's cleaning her bottom. Bum Bobby. She's still deaf at the moment, by the way. Um, she's still got closed off ears, and obviously she's still blind until she's about two weeks old. And she's only five days so considering how big she is so um our la our first litter of spaniels didn't get to this size till they were 14 days old so she is a porker that's for sure well that's because she had all the space in the womb to grow as big as possible here we go this is what we want her to do she's sort of climbing over the teddies and that's what she'd be doing with the siblings right now <laughs> she's still a bit drunk puppy because she's at the drunk puppy stage and she's found Mama. Mama is way more exciting than a fluffy chicken. Just sat here on the sofa and little Miss is really learning how to get about. She just crawled all the way along past the welcome, uh, across the welcome box. And she's using her toys to climb up. That's a big toy. Is she playing? I think she's playing. Oh, she wanted the heat mat. Say, get off toy. Tilly. Is that your baby? Baby is one week old today and she's drinking away on oh, mama. So her ears are still covered over at the moment but they're just starting to flake away a little tiny bit and then she will be able to hear. Um, that usually happens over the next week and obviously her eyes will open by then too. Look how gold she is in the eyes. She's so pretty. Good morning baby is 10 days old and she just barked this morning which I don't think is normal for a 10 day old puppy she barked twice and she hasn't even opened her eyes yet <laughs> what's she doing barking here's the beautiful baby 10 days old and she is massive she's one kilo Beautiful. All her nose is going dark because it was pink when she was born. Look at that. Oh, she's so cute. She's much happier being held by humans now. Which is nice. Neat. Mm. This is my baby. Ooh. Her eyes are opening. Your eyes opening. Hey, baby girl. Size this one. 
They're opening. <laughs> Good morning. Today, um, basically last night, Bumblebee kept getting stuck on the pig rails in the welcome box and her head is quite large so she gets stuck underneath them so this morning we are going to remove I think some or all of the pig rails basically because she doesn't need them anymore Matilda's definitely not going to sit on her or lay on her and she's never left alone anyway um, but she's laying under them at the moment she can just fit underneath them if she goes this way around but if she sits up then she can't um, and I can't remember what age we removed the pig rails. I think it's around about now. Um, you'd have to watch one of my old puppy videos to remember. <laughs> I've forgotten. Um, look, see this. See how she like gets stuck like with her head round one side. So, see, and then she gets all stressed. Let me get her out. <laughs> oh. There we go. I've got her out. But see how she just got all stressed in because she got stuck. So, the bars are going to come out. Aren't they, little bumblebee? There we are, no pig rails anymore. And she's sound asleep. She looks like she's melted. I mean, cheeky girl. She's got all her babies still. Do you know, with her being a singleton, she doesn't use the heat mat half as much. Don't know why. You'd think she'd use it more because she doesn't have siblings, but she doesn't. Oh, big yawn. No, you too won't. No. Oh. It's a hot knife. Look at that walking. She's really advanced in the last like two days. She started walking yesterday. So Bumblebee is two weeks old tomorrow. Look at her. She's trying to find Mama's milk. And she tells. I just brought her out to see what she thinks of the floor. Still carpet, not put on the lino yet. What do you think? Trying to find Mama.